How are you guys doing today? We have some new comments that just came out recently from Daisy Ridley regarding Star Wars Episode 9 and Star Wars The Last Jedi. So we're going to be diving into those in this article here. It seems like Daisy Ridley likes to flip flop. I mean, just not very long ago, she came out and she was saying some really great comments like, hey, everyone has their own opinion and stuff. If people didn't like The Last Jedi, then that's fine. But apparently, suddenly, now that's a problem. So we're going to be getting into that in this article here. Um, and let's go ahead and start this article. So, Star Wars does Daisy Ridley calls out vicious social media fans. Ah, music to my ears. In a moment of harmonious honesty, Daisy Ridley addressed the toxic nature of fandom criticism, especially upon the Star Wars films. Now, let me tell you what. We are going to get to one comment down here in this article that is extremely, extremely toxic. So, prepare for that. It'd be crazy to assume that anyone who's asked to take part in one of history's longest and most treasured fr movie franchises would consider it a job, at least in the sense that you and I would define a job. But apparently that much is true in Ridley's case, who appreciates her role and responsibility of Rey, but will also not let it define her or her actions. Does this remind you of anybody else that just said something fairly similar to this recently? In a recent interview with Bustle, the 27-year-old icon addressed many of the not-so-pleasant parts of being at the forefront of a series, including facing criticism from fans. Though any films subject to condemning commentary from viewers and professionals alike, hell, I'm a critic, no one would debate the fact that the products of major franchises like Star Wars are viewed and judged in a stricter light. It's great that people are expressive of their views, which is kind of what she said not very long ago as well, which I agree with, but this is people's jobs. So, basically, that but right there just cancels out this entire thing here. So, it's great that people are expressive of their views, but this is people's jobs. People worked really, really hard on that thing, Ridley explained. I think there's a way of having a discussion that isn't so vicious. So, this sounds a lot like some comments that Scarlett Johansson made really recently as well, where she went out and said, hey, it's my job as an actress to play characters. It's my job. If I have to play a tree for a movie, I'm going to do it because that's my job. But she faced criticism and ridicule because of those comments. But suddenly it's okay to just say, hey, it's my job. That's it. It's okay when R Daisy Ridley says it, but when Scarlett Johansson says it, suddenly it's an issue. Um, which is really funny. Just kind of shows the, the inconsistencies here. Also, you know, no one's, no one's arguing the fact that it's hard work being an actress. No one's arguing the fact that it's hard work to make a movie, but just like someone who is working at like, I don't know, a McDonald's who is working there, they have a hard job too. No one's arguing that either, but Despite the fact that they have a hard job, if they make a crappy burger for somebody that's half-assed made or whatever, then they deserve the criticism for that, and they deserve to be called out for that. <laughs> because if, if your consumers are paying money for your product, then they deserve to be able to get the product that they paid for. Um... So those are just kind of some minor thoughts about that. The young star then went on to note how social media has given users a false sense of entitlement and importance, saying, because if you've got however many followers and you write something that you think is like so deep and a hundred people like it, it's constant reinforcement, which is pretty accurate. I mean, that's a pretty accurate statement. While Ridley's done her part in staying away from social media, having deactivated all her accounts, it seems she hasn't escaped the storm entirely, detailing a recent interaction in which someone felt uncomfortable or felt comfortable enough with her voice her with her to voice their negativity right in her face. Now, this is the very very toxic comment that I'm getting to right here. So, I was at my friend's birthday, she said, and one of her friends, who I barely know, was like, hey, really liked the first Star Wars, didn't really like the second one, and I thought, that's rude, dude, that's my job. So this, this, everyone, is a toxic comment. Hey, I really liked the first Star Wars, didn't really like the second one. He didn't even say, I didn't like the second one, he said, I didn't really like the second one. This is apparently toxicity. This is where we're at now. 
<laughs> with the mainstream media, with the SJWs, with Disney psycho fans or whatever, with all of these types of people. This is where we're at now, where if you say, I didn't really like the movie, <gasps> you're so toxic. That's where we're at now. And it's really, really pathetic. It's really really pathetic and the way that they write this article to make it sound like that is just like the worst thing to say on the planet is really really stupid as well <laughs> oh my gosh these people are insane these people are insane so this this just goes to show that even if even if you are just someone who's just like hey i didn't really like the movie that much you're suddenly a toxic person, according to Disney, according to the mainstream media, according to Lucasfilm, according to Ryan Johnson, according to Daisy Ridley, according to all of these people, you are suddenly toxic. It's pathetic. I can't tell, I can't express to you guys how pathetic this is. It would be one thing if this person came up to Daisy Ridley and was like, you know, you are a stupid idiot scumbag person how dare you make this movie you know maybe you know there, there's a there's a huge difference between those types of situations oh my gosh these people are ridiculous it's endearing to see a star of release caliber stand up for her projects though she as any professional actor and actress should be is aware that criticism's inevitable with any film not even star wars is perfect so, so you're basically, you're acknowledging that The Last Jedi isn't perfect. And it's okay for you to say that. But if a, if a random person says it, if a fan says it, or whatever, suddenly it's toxic. Well, you are a, you are a critic. You are a critic. So you have the right to be able to say these things. Because you are on a whole other level, right? Isn't that, isn't that where we're at right now? Um... This is just ridiculous, and it really, really irritates me a lot. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this article? What do you think about the things that Daisy Ridley said here? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.